Welcome back, beautiful mindsetters. Welcome back to the revision session. We are still busy with mathematical literacy. You are still tuned in with me, Lebohang Dube, and we are still doing uh, maps and plans. I would like to first thank Liberty. Before we do carry on, Liberty has been so helpful in helping us bring all this content to you guys. If you guys haven't been sending through your questions, please do use the tutor function on the Tenfold Education app. Okay, so we are carrying on now. And the next question that we do have has everything to do with maps and plans again because we did start with a maps and plans question and then we moved over to something a bit different, which is pie charts. And now we're carrying on again with maps and plans. Let's look at the map that we are given in this particular instance. So this map is a map of South Africa. And again, we have our general direction being north going on over there. And I said to you guys, you need to know your general directions. So if that's north, that is south. And then that's east. So I always say Norman eats sour worms. So we know that our west is happening on that side. We do have our key over there. And it says to us here, the map below represents the bus routes. So automatically we know we're going to be working with bus routes over there of a South African bus company. No particular name has been mentioned here. And it says to us that... Um, if you see a plane, it's an airport, and then we have a national road with an N there, a bus stop, and then bus route. So let's look at the questions that are asked with this particular um, map that we do have of South Africa with the bus routes over here. It says to us that we need to use this annexure, which is annexure C. How many airports are along the bus routes? So it means that we need to go and count the number of airports that can be found along the bus routes. How do we know that something is a bus route? Let's go in and look at that. So we need to go and see what do our bus routes um, look like. So we are going to go now and count all the airports that do exist along the bus routes. I know... A bus route would look something um, similar to that because I already have that going on um, over there. I didn't make it look okay because there. Okay? So, I know that along those bus routes, I've got one, two, three, four, and then I've got five, Six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine airports that I am talking about over there. What do I do? All I do is just go and answer that. So I'm going to call that one, nine airports. Standing. So I just went there and I counted all the airports that exist. Explain the meaning of the given scale. Do we have a scale that's been given? Let's go look for the scale. So the scale that's been given here is this one down here. So this scale, guys, this scale is called, um, it's a number scale, number one. So you find two types of scales, and I just had to remind myself a bit of that. Number scale, bar scale. Bar scale looks like an actual bar. So you have to think of like an actual bar, okay? And then a number scale would be the one where you're given as a ratio. So here we are being asked, um, explain the meaning of the given scale. So this particular scale that we have been given is 1 is to 10 million. I want to tell you guys, and I'm going to write it down in words so you can see what it means. I don't want to say it and not write it down because when you write it down, you remember it better. So one is to 10 million. How do I know it's a million? The number of zeros, okay? So what does it mean? It means that one unit on the map represents 
10 million units. Ten million units on the ground. So you could either say on the ground or in real life. So it's going to depend on how you want to phrase that type of question. Now I'm going to put a caution. The caution that I'm putting, a lot of kids come to me and they say to me, no ma'am. In geography, it means one centimeter on the map represents one centimeter, a million centimeters in real life. Please don't write it like that in maths literacy. In maths literacy, it's one unit. Represents 10 million units. Okay, until they tell you what to write. Because sometimes it could just mean one millimeter represents 10 million millimeters. So be careful in terms of that. So that's why we say one unit on the map so every time you take a ruler and you measure one unit on the map in real life that one unit on the map represents 10 million okay so that's what it means in this particular case so please be careful um, with questions like this and write it the way that i've told you to write it even if it says one is to 20. one unit on the map represents 20 units um, in real life <music>